We move to the first episode, a guide to the Adobe Illustrator course. I said in the introduction, that through this course you can understand Adobe Illustrator works, and use it properly even if you are a beginner, and the most basic and most important thing to know as a beginner, is the interface. Yup, the interface, and is very important, even if you have used Adobe Illustrator, but want a faster workflow, or want to take it to the next level, then it is an important thing for you to take. In simple terms, an interface, is a physical display of an application, that we use to interact with software, or programs, or may also refer to controls used in a program, that allows the user to interact with the program easily. As an example of a case like this, if you are in a situation where you want to learn to drive for the first time, the first, and basic thing you must know and understand is the control of the car. What tools do you use to turn left or right? What should you do to increase or decrease the speed? or even what controls do you use to stop, and park. All the controls that you see in the cabin of the car, are analogous to the interface in software, or programs, especially Illustrator. So that's the first thing to understand. So let's jump straight into the Adobe Illustrator interface. To easily understand the Illustrator interface, I divided it into five parts. The first, is the, application frame. Its function is the same as a normal photo, or painting frame, or rather an application frame, is a where you put all your tools in one place. At the top left of this application frame is the menu bar, which is the main part of the application frame, you can get anything you need in Adobe Illustrator here, which is divided into several sections. Starting from the document setup, and print, you can find it in the menu section of this file. Object menu to modify the object. All about the type in this section, to the window menu, where you can find all the panels you will need. At the bottom of the menu bar, there is a control panel overview, it's a panel for the tool you are currently using, and each tool has a different control panel, if I use the selection tool, then the panels will be different if I activate the type tool. You can understand this as a settings panel for a tool that you are currently using, or an object that is currently selected. And on the top right there is an application header that you can use to find a tool, arrange documents, and manage workspaces. I will explain in more detail in the essential practice episode. We move to the second part to the left of the frame, namely the toolbar. It's called a toolbar because you can find all the tools to create vectors from scratch, and tools to modify vectors. This toolbar is like a toolbox where you put all your tools together. With this edit toolbar. You can find lots of tools that Illustrator has, which have been divided into several parts, ranging from selection tools, drawing tools, type tools, paint tools, modify tools, to navigation tools. Now let's move to the right side, where you can find all of the existing panels in Illustrator. Other than that, these sections are often called collapsed panels, which means, you can unmount, and place these panels again in the application frame. All panels that can be placed in this section can be found in the window menu in the menu bar. You just need select and click to open the panel. After that you can place this panel anywhere you want, it can be floating like this, and this is usually called a floating panel. And if you place it on the side of the frame like this, it can be called a collapsed panel, which means you can minimize and maximize a panel without having to close it. And the fourth part of the Illustrator interface is the status bar that appears at the lower left edge of the Illustrator window. It displays any of the following indicator like current zoom level to navigation controls for multiple artboards. And the last part, or the fifth part, is the artboard. I will explain in more detail about the artboard in the next episode. In conclusion, in this episode, I emphasize that the very first step to being able to understand and master Illustrator easily and quickly is to understand the workspace first. It is a roadmap that you should understand before going any further. I have prepared a study material that you can use to understand this episode. Besides that, there are several tasks that you can do to practice your Illustrator skills. Remember, Illustrator is only a tool to realize your ideas, so you still have to practice using this tool. And the next episode is to create a document and set the artboard.